Previously, we have looked at how to create design variants using the Variant Management menu. In this video, we will look at how to generate manufacturing and assembly data for different variants in our design. Once the project variants have been configured, we can quite easily create documentation such as an up-to-date bill of materials using the Reports menu. In the Bill of Materials menu, we can select the different variants from the drop-down list. As we select a variant, we can see the components in the table changing dynamically. After selecting the desired variant, the bomb can be exported to an output file. To print the schematic for a desired variant, we must first switch to the variant tab at the bottom left of the schematic sheet, and then select the required variant from the projects panel. To see the drawing preview of the variant, select Print Preview from the file menu. In Altium Designer, it is possible to create a smart PDF document of the schematics in our project. From the Smart PDF window, select the option Current Project to target the schematics in our design. From the next page, select the documents for printing. In this case, let's select just the schematic. If needed, it is possible to add a bill of materials to the Smart PDF document. Select Next and select Next again. Once in the Structure Settings, select a variant from the drop down list. Select Next again and for the final step, select Finish to create the Smart PDF document. Now moving to the PCB, we can visualize the two variants in the 3D environment. And if required, it is also possible to create a 3D step model as well as a 3D PDF document for the different variants in our design. Variants are also taken into account when generating fabrication and assembly outputs. Let's select Print Preview from the File menu for the two variant PCBs. In the preview for variant V02, we can see the non-fitted components shown as just rectangular outlines. For variant V01, we can see the complete outlines of the fitted components as well as their designators. Also in Altium Designer, we can make the use of the Draftsman feature for creating assembly drawings. In the Draftsman drawing, after placing the assembly views, we can change the displayed variants through the Properties panel. Draftsman drawings can be either printed or output as a PDF document. Another option to generate manufacturing assembly documents is the use of output job files. There are two settings for working with variants in such files. First we'll select choose a single variant for the whole output and next select one of the variants. When saving documentation as PDF we can use a special system parameter variant name to automatically name folders where documents will be saved. It is also possible to use a combination of several parameters to specify names for generated files. In the same way, it is possible to configure the path for saving generated files. Let's select Generate Content to create the documentation and output files for the selected variant. We can now generate manufacturing data for the second variant by selecting it from the drop-down list and then selecting Generate Content from the Output Containers panel. Since we use the parameter variant name for naming folders, this will create a convenient folder structure where it will be easy to find the documentation and files created. We will now use the second option in the output job file to create manufacturing assembly documentation. As you can see this option has added the column variant to the outputs table. Here it is possible to select individual variants for each document type. Working in this way will require us to set up individual outputs for each variant. Let's explore the created output documents. 